Hello, hello. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, good evening. How are you, everybody? Tired because it's Monday. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know, I know. Do you like Mondays, everyone? Uh -huh. <laughs> Surely, yes, but today, no. <laughs> <laughs> not today ah, not okay. today well, what happened today because he's uh, mm, tired <laughs> all right so it was very tiring today huh yes. all right all right i'm sorry to hear that but i hope tomorrow could be um a little bit more relaxing day okay well, let's see. Welcome, everybody. I can see only Tony with the camera on and the rest of you. What happened? Oh, my gosh. So, Tony, tell me, how are you? Very fine. I'm waiting tomorrow, 14th February. Oh, that's true. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're a romantic person. Ah, <laughs> all right. So, any plans for tomorrow, everyone? I mean, do you celebrate Valentine's Day? Yes, tomorrow at 8 to 10 p.m. I have a class. <laughs> <laughs> I have a plan. That's a very have good a plan. <laughs> If I need a romantic time. <laughs> yeah, right. I know. I know. Let's let's watch a movie in English. <laughs> a romantic movie in English. Yeah. Okay. Besides the class, because I want everybody here in the class, you can celebrate before or after. Okay. So what what do you usually do on Valentine's Day? Mm, I'm usually go to uh, a restaurant with my wife and my sons. Um, yeah, very good. Not tomorrow because it's is is uh, Tuesday. But <laughs> um, previously Sunday, I was, I were, I was, I was, I was, I was um, a celebration with my family. Very good. I mean, sounds great. <clears throat> uh huh. And everyone else, do you celebrate Valentine's Day? They don't believe in Valentine's. <laughs> no romantic person over here. Everyone, do you celebrate Valentine's Day or it's just like another day? Uh huh. What do you think? Hello. <laughs> My goodness, why don't you want to talk today? <laughs> okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Miguel. Welcome to the class. All right. Well, in my own opinion, I don't celebrate Valentine's Day. I mean, I am not a romantic person, honestly. I'm not, so I love chocolates, but just like that. <laughs> so, but if you celebrate Valentine's Day, super good, everyone, excellent. I hope you can enjoy with your, uh, if you have a, a, a girlfriend or boyfriend or with your husband or wife, okay? Just remember that tomorrow we will have classes, okay? So you can celebrate after or before, but not during the class. Now, how was your weekend? Everyone, I, I want to listen to you. So tell me, how was your weekend? For me, it's very tired. Really? Year, yeah. Oh my gosh, a lot of work? No, no, no. Uh, my brother come back to the United States. I, I traveled to the airport, prepare Oh my gosh. So yeah, a lot of things to do. All right. And the rest I'm of sorry. you? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. 
<laughs> and the rest of you, everyone, how was your weekend? I, I was go to the beach in the weekend. All right, which beach? It's a uh, Pimental Beach. Oh, nice. Was it good? Uh, yes, it's really it's pretty. Relax. Okay. Nice. <laughs> a lot of beer. Ah. Ale, ale. <laughs> More or less. I, uh, I need I need a drive. <laughs> you needed a driver. Or you drove. Driver. Uh -huh. driver. Oh, you you <laughs> drove. Okay, nice. Well, at least you can be responsible, please. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I celebrate previous. Ah, okay, okay, nice. Uh -huh, everyone, and the rest of you. Anything interesting during the weekend? No. <laughs> Did you work on the platform? Hmm. All right. Okay, look, some of you did and super really good job, everyone. But at least, I mean, I have some people that they haven't done the platform. So remember that this is an obligation, all right? We are starting basically the week number three. Some of you already finished the unit number one and two, and remember that you have to complete the exam, okay? Super good for the ones that already finished, but look, I have some people that mm -mm, they, they haven't, a, finished, right? They haven't done the exam. So be careful for the ones who hasn't even started. Okay? Because sure. remember that this is an obligation. Yes? Sure. Tell me. Uh, I see creo que my name uh, Your name? Let me search. Yes. I want to see my progress. Okay, let's start with Edwin. Okay, Edwin, I have two with you. I have Edwin Gar Enrique Garcia and Edwin Garcia one. I think that this is your current uh, user, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, pero, uh, uh -huh. estas dos, las últimas, las que tengo cero son las unidades que no he hecho. Oh, yeah, o sea, but, la tres but, y cuatro, ¿verdad? Uh -huh, exactly. Ah, okay. So, yeah, no okay. problem. What okay. I'm checking right now, everyone, is unit one, unit two, and the exam. That's ah, it. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you want to work in the unit three or if you finish the unit number four, I mean, that's great. But in this moment, I just i am asking for the unit one, two, and the exam. Okay, Luis, hey. you wanted hey. to see your progress? Uh, let me search for it. Du, 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 du. Okay, Luis, here you are. Actually, you have a very good progress because you already finished unit one, two, and the exam, and you are already studied the week three. So, super good. Okay. So, so, everyone, here is a platform. Again, there are some people that they haven't even started. So, that's a little bit worrying. Okay, so please work on the platform because if you want to continue in the program, if you want to move on to the next level, you have to finish it. Okay, remember that is one of the rules for this program. You have to do it, it's not optional. Okay, so if you haven't even started, let's start today. You still have time. Okay, Teacher. at the contrary, mm -mm, you will have problems. Yes, tell me. You say CAS. What is CAS? A E C U C. Uh, CAS. CAS. Uh, basically, it's an abbreviation of because. You can say because or because. Uh huh. C U C. Yes. Okay. That's Thank the you. one. You're welcome. Okay, everyone. Now that most of you are here, I'm going to check attendance. Remember, if you're listening to your names, say present, please. And just a reminder, everyone, this is not something that I used to say every single day, 
But if you remember the first day, I told you that the camera has to be on. You remember? And actually the last week, I could see that uh, most of you keep uh, the camera off. And I understand when you are driving or sometimes you are listeners because you are sick. I totally understand. But if you are at home, if you are not driving, if you are not sick, so remember, keep the camera on. It's also an obligation because that's the way that I can see you are here, okay? So except if you are driving or if you are listening because you are sick, so uh, that's the only exception. At the contrary, please keep the camera on. Now, Abigail Mejia. Abigail Mejia. Okay. Andrea. Ah, okay, thank you, Abigail. Andrea Amalia. Andrea Amalia. Okay. Atilio Ernesto. Right. Uh, Blanca Elizabeth. Blanca Elizabeth. Carlos Alberto Castro. Present, Miss. All right. Celia Cristina. Present. Okay. Um, Henry Alberto. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Jorge Antonio. Present, teacher. Okay. Jorge Jonathan. Jose Ezequiel. Present, teacher. Okay. Juan Antonio Elias. Present, teacher. Okay. Juan Jose Herrera. Present teacher. Okay. Um, let's see. Karen Rocío. Karen Rocío. Okay. Carla Sofía. Present. Okay. Um, Carol Elizabeth. Present. Okay. Kenia Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Lady Xiomar. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Luis Miguel. Present teacher. Nelson Orlando. Present. Okay. Eh, Salvador Ernesto. Sandra Abigail. Present. Okay. Ah, veamos. Stephanie Michel. Stephanie Michel. Jancy Kelita. Present teacher. Okay. Jose Marvin. Present teacher. Okay. And Edwin Enrique. Present teacher. Okay. Very good. Thank you, everyone. Now let's start. Do you remember the topics that we studied uh, last week? Oh, my goodness. Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Keep them present. All right. Frequency okay. adverbs. Okay. All right. So don't forget the topics, please. So today is February 13th, and this is the week three. So everyone, two more weeks and it's over, all right? So let's keep going, make a little effort. So we are going to start the week uh, number three and let's review a little bit the vocabulary just to see if you remember. Um, we studied vocabulary about sales. So we got the verbs, some of these ones, right? Are the most common ones. So I will ask you randomly. For example, number three, purchase. Do you remember the meaning of purchase? Is the What's action that? when I give money for some product. Ah, very good. Excellent. Okay. Um, what is the meaning of refund? 
when I um, when I uh, can uh, return the product. Uh, okay. The store give me the money. Ah, very good. So you return the product, so you have your money back. Very good. Okay, what is the meaning of mm, 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 retail? And um, is the small is business. A, uh huh. Basically, that right? Small business when a person sells, but in a small amount. What is the opposite of retail? Uh huh. What is the opposite of retail? Wholesale. Very good. This one is the opposite. Very good. Um, one more, one more. What is the meaning of out of stock? What is that? When the product uh, is anything more than the store. Aha, very good. It's no more available, right? Imagine that you want to buy a, a TV, for example. And in the store, they don't have more TVs, so the TV is out of stock. Okay, excellent job, everyone. I hope you always remember, please, the vocabulary. The idea is that you can apply the vocabulary when you are talking. Now, the topic for today is human resources vocabulary okay that is the topics that we are going to talk about and this is the class objective i need a volunteer for reading please thank you tony go ahead class objective at the end of the class participants will identify a specific information of the human resources staff organization organization and their responsibilities with the department. Thank you. So we are going, thank you. You will uh, identify what activities the human resources do. Okay, that's the idea. And I want to, uh, to answer this question, what do you know about the human resources department? What do they do? Uh, what are their responsibilities? What do you know about human resources in your company? The first activity is a uh, release and interview for contract people. Very good. Okay. Uh huh. What else? In my company, they are in charge for some training. Ah, excellent. Very good. Uh -huh. Anyone else? What do you know about this department? Did you, uh, what, what do you say? Uh, despedir. Okay, you can say suck. To suck. Uh, suck. Or mm -hmm. you can say fire. Like you are fire. Mm -hmm. Fire. Mm -hmm. um, okay, uh, uh, human resource, uh, so um, fire. Uh, they <laughs> fire people. Uh, <laughs> That's true, right? They fire some employees. Okay. Teacher, can you write the first, uh, the first action? Suck. Oh, we have the vocabulary in the next slice. No worries. Okay. Yes, we are going to see that vocabulary, everyone. Don't worry. So that's some of the activities that human resources do, right? The, uh, well, does anyone here works in this department? Uh huh. Anyone? Or, or you don't want to say, huh? No, no one works for human resources department. Uh, I think me, 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 
Okay, very good. I so, think they use the same, the same thing, like uh, in tra training people, find profile for for the position. Mm -hmm. Very and good. So, and support employees, Axel. Very good, excellent. So the idea is today we are going to check some of the activities that this department does, but also we are going to learn vocabulary to describe the, the process, okay? So here we got some phrases. I want you guys to match the verbs on the left with the words on the right and form phrases. For example, imagine if I want to say recruit. Mm, what do you think? Can I say recruit company working condition? Is that correct? What do you think? Recruit Does it make sense? Employees. Okay, so we can say recruit new employees, could be. So I want you to think which will be the best map. How about improve? Hmm. Can I say improve honest feedback? Hmm. What do you think? Improve questions about the company? What do you think? So let's try to match the verbs with the phrases. Improve reference of the job candidate? No. Okay. I don't know. You tell me. What do you think, everyone? Can I say or that? Improve question about the company police. Improve, improve worker for performance. Mm, okay. So let's do something. I want you to do it individually, okay? I'm going to give you five minutes. Try to match the verbs with the phrases, and then we are going to see if your match is correct or not, okay? You got five minutes. Try to match the phrases with these verbs. So read carefully. The idea is to form the phrases. So what is the best option for improve? Hmm. Improve workers' conflicts or improve jobs candidates? I don't know. So what do you think? Go ahead. You have five minutes. If you have a question about the meaning of a word, let me know. Uh -huh. Did you finish or not yet? If you have questions about the vocabulary, tell me. We need so many minutes more, please. Okay, no worries. I want to everybody try to do it, please. Try to match them.
Let me know when you finish. Uh, hi everyone. What is the best option for improve? What do you think, everyone? What answer do you have? Workers. A. Okay, some uh, of you say workers performance. performance. Okay. Anyone me, has a different option? Company working condition. Companies working conditions. I okay. think the same company work your condition. Okay. Anyone else has a different answer? Okay. Actually, the best one is that one. Yes. To improve a company working conditions. Great. Okay. How about verified? What do you have here? Referring of job candidates. Reference of job candidates. And the rest of you, everyone, do you have another option? Works performance. Works performance, okay. Anyone else? I think questions about company. Questions about companies, okay. So look at these. We are trying to form phrases, right? So if you say verify workers conflict or verify workers performance, actually it makes sense, right? It's like, it's not totally incorrect. However, for these scenarios, right? For this specific phrase, we are going to say verified references of job candidates. And this is just because we have another verbs that matches a little bit better with these phrases. Now, interview, what do you think? Question about company policies. Interview questions about companies policies, okay. Any other uh, ideas? Job, interview job, uh, job candidates. Job candidates. Job candidates yes. Interview job candidates. That's yes. the one. And if yes. you see, these are some of the activities that human resources departments do, right? They recruit new employees. They try to improve to improve company conditions, right? They verify references of the candidates, then they interview job candidates. How about answer? Uh, question, question about, about company, company policies. policies. Correct. If you have any question about the company policies, so the ones who's going to answer is human resources. How about appraise? Workers 
performance. Worker performance. Anyone? Do you agree? What is the meaning of a praise? What do you think? I don't know. Okay, these ones can have different meanings. One of these one is like evaluate, right? So in this scenario, is specifically evaluate. So evaluate what? On his feedback, evaluate training for company staff, evaluate workers. workers. Performance. Ah, workers' performance. Do you agree, everyone? Yes. Definitely, right? This is like the best match. Okay, how about give? Honest feedback. Honest feedback. Anyone else? Do you have another option? Or do you agree? Honest feedback. Honest feedback. That's the one. Very good. How about resolve? Worker conflict. conflict. That's the one. Very good. And organize? Training for company staff. That's the one. Okay, everyone, tell me, do you think that in your company, think about your company, um, does the human resources department does these, uh, I mean, these activities? What do you think? Do they really do this? No. No? And there was a few? Probably the boss do that. Okay. Maybe not all of these ones, right? Maybe some of them, maybe they don't do all of these actions, but maybe some of these actions. Which of these ones do they do? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Which of these activities do they really do? In my workplace, all of them. All of them, very good. Uh-huh, anyone else? How about in your place? Do they this, uh, do this? Or which of these ones do they do? So, let's see. Do they recruit employees, new employees? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah, right? Yes. How about improve company condition? Yes, no, or mm, sometimes? Mm, okay, let's see, like sometimes. Do they verify the references of candidates? Yes. Yes, all right. Do they uh, interview job candidates? Really? Yes. Is Definitely. It the, the most important activity. That's good. Um, do they answer the questions about companies' policies? Hmm. Just imagine, yeah. when you started to work for that company, did they answer all the questions that you had or not? Or do you still have some questions and you are like, I don't even know what are my company's policies? What do you think? When I get the job, they send me publicity. Policies. Okay, all the policies? Yes, all the okay. policies. Okay, that's good. So in that case, they did. Very good. And they appraise works performers, workers' performance? What do you think? Do they evaluate you? Your work performers? Yes. Okay, sounds good. And this one is very important. Do you receive a honest feedback? What do you think? Yes. 
Yes. In, in the my rest... company, the three in the care six times in the year. Okay, that's good. And the rest of you, everyone, do you receive a very honest feedback? Uh huh. Yes. Uh, yeah. I think that the um, uh, immediately manager or boss of our our department is the responsible of uh, give give a, a first feedback. And the human resources is the last option when you have a troubles or you need to remove or recontrate, recon, recontrata, to require another person to the same um, uh, job. And then this is part of them, but not the most important or not immediately. Okay. That's a good option too. The word that you was trying to say is rehire. Okay. Rehire. It is not recontract, it's rehire. Okay. Maybe as Tony says, right? Maybe human resources is not the first one to give the feedback. Maybe sometimes is your supervisor or then someone else that is upper than that. And then human resources. Okay. Um, do they resolve? A workers' conflicts? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Or sometimes? Or not really? Hmm. Or there are no conflicts in your job? Probably we have conflict, but the boss is responsibility responsible of the boss. Oh, yeah. okay. That's a good point, right? Except if the problem is so big and it keeps going. So then human resources interviewed. Okay. Organized training. Hmm. Do they do that? Do they organize training for the company staff? It's my responsibility. <laughs> it's your responsibility. <laughs> nice. Okay. If you see everyone, here we got some of the vocabulary, right? So how can I say reclutar? Recruit. Mejorar? Improve. So these verbs are very key when we are talking about human resources and when we check the phrases we got specifically vocabulary that we can also use like feedback candidates employees policies candidates performance so keep in mind the vocabulary okay now let's move on look at this answer the question can you think of any other task that a human resources specialist may do Besides these ones that we already mentioned, what are other activities that they do? What comes to your mind? What else? When you listen the word human resources, what comes to your mind? I think the other activity is around or about salaries. Very good. That's a good one. What else? In my company, for example, the human resource have the organize uh, organize uh, the um, special events uh, on holidays, for example, in on Christmas and in in vacations and August when we go to the vacation, they are um, have um a lot of activity activities very good point excellent so those are some of the activities that they do right they not only hire new people or recruit candidates they can also right organize important events for holidays they have to organize your vacations as your classmate says they process 
the payroll, right? Like salary. And they also look at this one is important. Conduct disciplinary actions, right? If you are um, like those one who um, always arrive late or you take a lot of day off or you don't perform like correctly, so they can conduct a disciplinary action, right? Now, look at this one, and this is something that I really liked. Look, providing a career growth. What is the meaning of career growth? What is that? What do you think? If when the people uh, uh, apply for new level job, Exactly. So that means that you have the opportunity to scale, right? To go on an upper level. Do you have that opportunity in your company? Yeah, in my case, uh, I will uh, I share uh, the new... Um, the new the new role for applicate as uh, another uh, option for the job all right so you have different options for growing uh -huh. okay and the rest of you everyone does your company provide career growth yes actually i came from this process Oh, nice. Yes. Very yes. good. We, we, como sería, my first position is. My yeah, first perdón. position was? Was vendor. Seller? Seller, seller bef before, no, no, no. After? After that, I I be a supervisor and in distributor. Mm -hmm. Right now, mm -hmm. I I be part. Yeah, I be part of a Claro staff. All right, so you have been growing very yeah. good. For 10 years. <laughs> All right, but look, yeah. I mean, that's a great process because imagine there are some times there are some people that they have like 25 years doing exactly the same. So I think that that will be a little bit sad, right? But all right, super good. And always, a human resources always update policies. If there are some changes, they have to inform you, okay? So vocabulary, everyone, please take note. Now, always talking about this, I'm going to play an audio, okay? And I want you to listen to the audio about Susan Clark. She works as a human resources manager. And I want you to listen to the audio and then please answer these questions. So everybody, please pay attention. If you want to take notes, do it. Pay attention. My name's Susan Williams. I work for Excel Systems as a human resources manager. My responsibilities include recruiting new employees and organizing training for company staff. It's also my job to improve the company's working conditions. I find my work very interesting, mainly because I enjoy working with people. It's also very satisfying to see employees improve and develop their skills because of initiatives that I have put into practice. What I don't like so much is when I have to deal with a difficult employee. For example, somebody who is habitually late, takes too many days off, or doesn't meet deadlines. That can be rather stressful, but luckily it doesn't happen too often. Okay, do you have the answers or do you want to listen to it one more time? 
Listen, listen one more time, teacher. Perfect. I'm going to play the audio again. Everybody, pay attention. My name's Susan Williams. I work for Excel Systems as a human resources manager. My responsibilities include recruiting new employees and organizing training for company staff. It's also my job to improve the company's working conditions. I find my work very interesting, mainly because I enjoy working with people. It's also very satisfying to see employees improve and develop their skills because of initiatives that I have put into practice. What I don't like so much is when I have to deal with a difficult employee. For example, somebody who is habitually late, takes too many days off, or doesn't meet deadlines. That can be rather stressful, but luckily it doesn't happen too often. All right, so can you tell me which of the tasks does she mention? I mean, what are her responsibilities? Training people. Okay. Recruit, recruit new employees. employees. Okay. What else? Checking the working conditions. All right, very good, very good. And does she enjoy her job? Yes. Yes. She enjoys working she with people. Okay. And what else? Put in practice. I don't remember. Put in practice differing skills, something like that. Okay. Anyone she else? Enjoy, she enjoys um, when the people grow in, in, in the company. Okay, when people, uh, when the employees improve, right, mm -hmm. their skills. So that's something that she enjoys. And uh, what are the aspects that she doesn't like? She doesn't like when conflict people. Yes, can you tell me some of the characteristics of these type of people, difficult employees? People always, that people always came late for the, for her, his job. All right. They are always late. What else? Negative people. Negative people. That's true. Never. You say the people. Okay, okay. I listened to at the same time. First Luis and then Marvin, I guess. Go ahead. When they don't complete the deadline. Mm, that's a good one. Uh-huh. Marvin, what was you saying? It's the same teacher. When the people uh, don't deactivate uh, the deadline for, for complete. They don't reach, right, their goals, so that's true. All right, excellent job. Now, pay attention My in the structure that she was using when she was talking. So I'm going to play the audio one more time, and I want you to complete the sentence. For example, the first one says, My da -da 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 include, I want you to tell me what is the missing word here. Okay, so I'm going to play the audio one more time. And I will be asking randomly because I could see that not everybody is participating. So everybody pay attention because I will ask in by name. Okay, pay attention. My name is Susan Williams. I work for Excel Systems as a human resources manager. My responsibilities include recruiting new employees and organizing training for company staff. It's also my job to improve the company's working conditions. I find my work very interesting, mainly because I enjoy working with people. It's also very satisfying to see employees improve and develop their skills because of initiatives that I have put into practice. What I don't like so much is when I have to deal with a difficult employee. For example, somebody who is habitually late, takes too many days off, or doesn't meet deadlines. That can be rather stressful, but luckily it doesn't happen too often. Do you have the words or do you want to listen it to one more time? I only have the first one, Susan Williams. <laughs> okay, I'm going to play it again. Remember, pay attention 
in the phrases, right? Try to listen when she says my da 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 include recruiting new employees and da 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 da. Okay, I'm going to play it again. Pay attention. My name's Susan Williams. I work for Excel Systems as a human resources manager. My responsibilities include recruiting new employees and organizing training for company staff. It's also my job to improve the company's working conditions. I find my work very interesting, mainly because I enjoy working with people. It's also very satisfying to see employees improve and develop their skills because of initiatives that I have put into practice. What I don't like so much is when I have to deal with a difficult employee. For example, somebody who is habitually late, takes too many days off, or doesn't meet deadlines. That can be rather stressful, but luckily it doesn't happen too often. Aha, uh -huh. how about now? Do you have the answers or not yet? Okay, I will help you. I will write the words, but you have to put them in the correct order. Okay, for example, I have this word. I have this other one, respons responsibilities. I have um, two, 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 what? And I have two, 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 find. Okay, those are the words, but you have to put them in the correct order. The first, my responsibility. Ah, very good. Okay. So, my job. It's also my job. Very good. How about I the number three? My job. <laughs> fine. I find my ah. job very interesting. Okay. And the last one? What? Very good. Okay, now pay attention in the structure that she used. For example, my responsibilities include what happens to the verb? The verb. Look. Is infinitive or gerund? Gerund. Gerund. Look at these phrases. So if you want to tell me the responsibilities that you have at work, you can say, ah, my responsibilities include, and look, ing. If you want to add more activities, also in ing, okay? Now look at the different structure for the number two. It's also my job two but what happens when i have the preposition two look at the verb base form exactly and if you want to add more information always in the base form so be careful with this structure sometimes we just talk like Como caiga, right? But we need to be careful with that. Now, I want you to complete the sentences, but with your own information. So can you tell me about you, everyone? For example, my responsibilities include, can you tell me some activities? But remember, ING. Uh-huh. Talk about your job. What are some of the responsibilities that you have in your job? So complete the phrase. My responsibilities include... Uh -huh. Training for company staff is the same. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, perfect. Okay, training, what else? And the rest of you, what are some of the responsibilities that you have a job? Um, how do you say, como presentar las cosas a tiempo? Presenting, right? Presenting documents or presenting the information on time. Declaraciones, en todos casos. You are talking about legal documents? Um, Ministerio de Hacienda, declara, oh. declaración de IVA. Okay, so you can say declaring. 
Okay. So declaring, that will be the verb. What else? So in this case, if you want to be more specific, you can say just declaring taxes. So it's understandable. What is the information that you are declaring? Anyone else? What are other responsibilities that you have? Uh -huh. Creating new reports. Very good. So imagine that you are describing your job. So you can say, okay, uh, my name is da -da 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 -da. I work at da -da 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 -da. my responsibilities include training uh, the staff, also uh, presenting right uh, da -da -da -da, the information or the documents on times uh, declaring taxes and also creating and you can continue talking important when you are presenting this type of information i don't need to say the subject so because if you are talking like this and suddenly you say i I creating new documents or I creating, that is a mistake, okay? So in this moment, we are saying like this. So don't mention the subject because if you say I, so in that case, you need to remove the ing and you have to say, I create, okay? This is only when you are not saying the subject. Be careful. Now, you can continue talking and you say, so it's also my job to look at the verb. Infinitive. So everyone, can you tell me what it's also activities that you do at work? Uh -huh. It's also my job to... What else do you do at work? To present in France. To present in. Okay, in this case, to present, right? To present information, to present... I don't know, what else do you present? Uh-huh, what else? Resolve issues. Can you repeat, Edwin? Resolve issues. Very good. Resolve issues. Schedule meetings. Very good. Schedule meetings. What else? Call customers. Good, very good. So if you see everyone in this case, the verb is in? Infinitive. In this case, no ing. Why? Because I have the preposition to right here. Now, imagine in the number three, I find my work very here. What I need is an adjective. So can you tell me adjectives about your work? I find my work very what do you think? Very hard. Okay. No Very hard. Stressing. What else? The rest of you, I find my work. Interesting. Very good. Interesting. What else? Easy or difficult? Difficult sometimes. Okay. Difficult sometimes. Good. So we are using adjectives. And now look at the last one. What I don't like so much is here you have freedom, right? So here you just have to say what you don't like it. It could be a verb 
or it could be a noun. So you can say what I don't like much is to talk, for example, is to wake up early, for example, or you can use nouns. What I don't like so much is uh, <laughs> my co-workers, for example, imagine that you have toxic co-workers, or you can say, I don't like my schedule, I don't like mm -hmm. my office, I don't like the traffic, okay? So you can use different phrases here. Is it clear the way that we can talk about our job using these phrases, everyone? Yes? Mm, yes. And only once is yes. And the rest for, of you? For general, mm. yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. I want you to talk about you. Okay. So complete the sentences with your own information. But I want you to talk about your job using these phrases. Okay. I want you to say my responsibilities include and then ing. It's also my job to and infinitive. Then I want you to tell me what do you find uh, your work like? So, ah, I find my work very and tell me an adjective. And the last one, tell me something that you don't like so much. Okay, everybody, you have two minutes to complete the sentences and I will be asking one by one, okay? Two minutes, go ahead. Try to give details, okay? Try to give as many details as possible. And just try to follow this structure, okay?
Are you ready, everyone? Yes? Yeah. Okay, so I want to everybody talk about their jobs and I will start. I will give you the example how I want you to present. Let's imagine that we don't know each other, right? We don't we have never seen each other. So I want you to present you, say your name and then describe your job. I will be the first one. So good evening, everyone. My name is Clarissa. I'm a teacher. Uh, I work for Insafor. And my responsibilities include teaching English in different levels um, and preparing PowerPoint presentations and different exercises so my students could complete them. It's also my job to check attendance, to give feedbacks and to give and to help my students when they have some issues. I find my work very interesting and kind of funny because I can meet new people. Um, and what I don't like so much is when I had internet connections issues or you know when the electricity service goes down <laughs> that is very frustrating that's it so i describe my job now is your turn ta -ta 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 -ta. do i have a volunteer or should i pick the volunteer Oh my goodness, volunteers, come on. Okay, I'm going to pick someone and I'm going to pick someone with the camera off. So let's see the ones who has camera off. Ta -ta 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 Abigail Bonilla. Okay, Abigail, hello. Hello. Okay, Abigail, tell us about your work. Mm. You can follow the structure. Mm. Can you share? Oh, sure. <laughs> Go ahead. My responsibility responsibilities and uh, my re res responsibility include um, organi organi organizing organizing the document um, how do you say ingresar? Uh, depends. So what are you trying to say? Mm, ingresar partida de diario. To the computer? Yes. Okay, so you can say enter or typing. Typing the partida. I mean, partida de nacimiento? No. Partida de diario, incontabilidad. Hmm. Okay, uh, I'm not sure. So you can say acts, like como un acta maybe. Act. Okay. Or certificates, if you want. Mm. I think that certificate sounds much better. It also my, my job to Uh -huh. Improve the, the company's working condition. The, how do you say clima organizacional? Okay, in that case, because you are talking about the companies, you can say the environment. Environment. Mm -hmm. Good, environment. Okay. I find my job 
very routine, routine. How do you say como routine? Routine. Routine. Uh -huh. Routine because the always the no. It's always all, the same activity. Um, yes, all the months. Uh huh. The cycle. How do you say cycle? Cycle. Mm -hmm. Cycle. Okay, so every month is the same cycle. Yes. All right. Okay. And the last one. <sighs> God. I don't like so much. Is when I start the month <laughs> because <laughs> uh, I need to present the result the oh, okay. before before month. Ah, okay. So every month you have to present the results. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, very good. Thank you, Abigail. Okay, very good. Do I have a volunteer who wants to try? Okay, so I don't have volunteer. Okay, Abigail, can you pick someone, please? Carol Elisa. Thank you. Hello, Carol. Hello. Okay, my, Carol. Okay. My name is Carol Escalante. I'm um, uh, I'm teacher in Eucharistic School. My responsibility includes the uh, organizer. Uh, agendas, planning, class, preparing evalu evaluation, and others responsibility. Mm, it's also my job to um, is organize, plan, evaluate, evaluate, evaluate. Evaluate. Evaluate, thank you. Mm, I find my work uh, very dynamic, noble, and, and interesting. Uh, but my, uh, what I don't like so much um, is little payment. But about I like my work. All right, very good. Thank you, Carol. Excellent job. Okay, Carol, pick someone, please. Who's next? Mm, Carlos. Okay, hello, Carlos. Carlos, are you there? Okay, I think he's not there. Can you pick someone else? Uh, try to pick someone with the camera on because they are the ones who are ready to participate. Uh huh. Who's next? Carol, can you pick someone? Mm. Andrea. All right. Oh, Andrea. No, oh, yeah, uh, yeah she's Cali listener. Blanca Elisa. Blanca Elizabeth, are you there? Okay, I think she's not there. Okay, I'm going to pick. I'm going to pick two, two Carla Sofia. Hello, Carla. Hello. Okay, Carla, tell me about mm -hmm. your job. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> perdón. Uh, bueno, my name is Carla Chévez. Uh, at my job, I am designer assistant and administrative administrative assistant. Um, some some my responsibility include 
using the machines for printing documents, uh, magazines, cards, uh, brochures, and others. Uh, it's also my job to designing the product, the products, and checking the WhatsApp message regard, regarding clients and taking. Um, I find my work very inter interesting because um, allows me to be creative, 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 and. But I don't like so much uh, making floral, floral and costumes decorations <laughs> because it's a slow process and hmm, I dislike working against on time. Ah, okay. I prefer design. Like with a lot of time. And use the computer and my, uh, <laughs> but I like my my work. <laughs> my <job>. Okay. <laughs> okay. Nice. Thank you, Carla. Very good job. So just remember, when you say it, it's also my job to the verbs is an infinitive because we have that preposition. Carla, pick someone, please. Uh, Tony. <laughs> Tony, okay, Tony, go ahead. Okay. Um, my risk, well, 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 I'm going to start. My name is Tony Elias. Um, I work for Claro El Salvador. My responsibility, my responsibilities include meeting the budget goal, uh, resolving the stock problems, um, talk with different providers of uh, telephones, cell telephones, and also my job um, to, make impress, to make presentations with my team, um, make uh, too many meetings uh, in the week, and principally, um, call and visit our area of job. Um, I mean that this is important because I need to travel to different departments in El Salvador. I find my work very stressful and um, consumption of time. I don't know if I say the word very well, but um, I need so much time to think and to program and to uh, prepare uh, the different um, vendors and schedules and, and different uh, goals to to comply the the budget uh, in the in the month that I don't like so much is um, the little time that I have to my family. Um, and then uh, uh, the, the time used for my job is so much large. And I think that the, this, um, this uh, situation, uh, if difficult for my family and for me because I don't have so much quality time for my, my sons and my wife. But uh, something things is necessary to, to renunciate or, or uh, sacrifice for uh, um, higher purposes in, in our life. Purposes. Uh, purposes in my life. All right, very good. That's the one. Thank you, Tony. Okay, Tony, pick the last one. Because of the time, I won't be able to interview all of you, but no worries, because later we will continue practicing. Pick okay. the last one, Tony. Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Thank you. Hello, Jorge. Hello. 
Okay, tell us. So I, um, well, my name is Jorge Antonio Sanchez. I work for Garand del Salvador. Um, I am a production manager. My responsibilities include um, managing the, the production department and typing their reports. And sometimes I send in the reports in the morning. And it's also my job to talk with, with the people and work with the, the new programs. I schedule the different meeting and I find my work very hard and stress and stressing, but I like it. But it's very interesting uh, meet with the different uh, type of people. What I don't like so much is that uh, I wake up very early every day and the travel for a lot of time. Mm, anyone else, uh, the other activities uh, for me is, uh, is uh, some great, my, my, my work is, is great. I talk at, um, in the other class, I had 24 years in this work and I like it. Very good, the excellent job, everyone. And that's the most important, everyone, that you like what you do, okay? Life is too short to be working in something that you don't like. Excellent. Now, super good with the uh, descriptions that you made it. Now, just keep in mind something, um, pronunciation of this word, responsibilities responsibilities okay repeat responsibilities. responsibilities that's the one some of you i got some issues with the pronunciation of this one also remember everyone when you are describing a job you are giving characteristics that's why when we use adjectives most of the adjectives are ending in ing. For example, interesting, right? Stressing, or if you say annoying, right? So, but we cannot use ed. So we cannot say, I, my job is bored. No, in this case, we can say boring. Ah, my job is tired. No, we have to say tiring because we are talking about characteristics, not feelings. Okay, be careful with that. Now, any questions so far, everyone, about these useful expressions? Or is it totally clear? No questions? Okay, now the idea, everybody, is that when you present yourself, when you want to describe yourself, you can do it using these phrases because that makes you sound a little bit more natural, a little bit more fluent. Okay, so that is the purpose. Now let's continue. And always talking about human resources, right? I have these questions for you. What is the most difficult part of human resources? In your own opinion, what do you think? What is the most difficult part? Uh huh. Any idea? For example, I don't know you, but if I were working in human resources, something that for me will be very difficult is to say someone, you know what, I'm sorry, but you are fired. And that will be very difficult for me. 
So how about you? What is most difficult part of human resources? Um, I think that uh, is uh, choose the better uh, people for the application for, for the uh, occupation. For the position? For the position. Uh -huh. Like to choose the best candidate. Yes, yeah. uh, because uh, they uh, they uh, check uh, anything uh, for the for the occupant, but um, always uh, they 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 have um, they have responsibility that occupate this this um this activity is the best people for the the people um the goals for the company that's true imagine if you choose the wrong person so at the end the company will suffer the consequences good anything else anyone what is the most difficult part of human resources what do you think Anything else? All right, so this is about everyone. How do you give an honest feedback? Don't think about that you are part of human resources. Just think about that some of you are supervisors or to your a coworker. How can you give a, an honest feedback? What do you think? How do you do that? Uh huh, Tony. Uh, I think you first, Mario. Oh, was it Marvin? Perdón. Excuse me. You first. Thank you. Uh, I consider um, the first activity is meeting in in the place when the when the meet uh, do feed feed to feed. Uh, what do you say? Face to face. Face to face. Face to face. Uh -huh. face, to face. Um, I consider that is uh, meeting is the boss. Uh, the place is relaxed because uh, the feedback I consider is the fears uh, developed for the person or for the persons um, 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 can um, do goals for the company. All right. Okay. It sounds good. Sounds good. Uh -huh. Tony, how about you? What do you think? I think that the um, feedback is a process that you need three principally things to do. First, you need to know the person. Second, you need to know her job or what they do. Mm -hmm. And third, you need to make an evaluation of different topic, topics about her work. And then when you have the three aspects, you can, um, make a meeting with the person and evaluate the the previously items to make an objective or or uh, a really good um, appreciation of her work and then make different actions to improve or uh, um make a better performance about her work and if necessary take notes about the mistake the most common mistake and how do you go to uh, resolve or um, don't have this problem with the the, the collaborator or or, or your co-partner Mm, okay, very good. That's a good way to give feedback. Very good. 
Now, because of the time, we're going to jump uh, to these questions and we're going to move to the next vocabulary that is also related to this uh, topic that we are discussing right now. Now, look, the idea for this vocabulary, I know that there are some words that you already know, but if there is a new word, please write it down. Look at the first one. What is the difference between the employer and the employee? What is the difference? Employer is the company, no? Uh huh. Employee is a employee. <laughs> it's, a, <laughs> it's the person. Exactly. So employer is like the company, the ones who hires. And employee is the person who works for that company. The opposite of employee is? Unemployed. Unemployed. Employed, yes. Unemployed. So, unemployed is a person without a job. Okay? What is pensioner? What is that? The lucky guy. <laughs> <laughs> The Stop. lucky guy. Yeah, the lucky guy. I like that definition. And it's true, right? So do you want to be a pensioner in the future? Yes, yes. or no? Yes, yes but I With don't think so. <laughs> 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 Yeah, unfortunately, the system in our country is a lot of deficiency, right? So, but don't lose the faith. Okay, have you ever heard about white colored and blue colored? What didn't the work? Related to work, of course. Have you ever heard these phrases? No? No. White okay. <laughs> okay, this is talking about the type of job that you perform. For example, white collar makes reference to a person who works like in an office with like a desk. This is more like some people call it intellectual job is because you have some specific skills. Ex uh, but the blue color is more hard work. Like when you work using your strength is more physical job. Okay. Is it clear the difference? Maybe it's a, a separation of um, administrative person and uh, work, work out. I don't know if I say the, the, the correct word, but the person that who makes the work out of the office. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's the one. That's the one. Then if I have this type of job, home office, what is that? It's option to work. Huh? So for example, me, I work from home. So that is my home office. And well, this one I think is very clear, part-time and full-time. What type of job do you have? Do you have a part-time or full-time? Super full-time. <laughs> Extra full-time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, what type of job do you have? Is temporary or is permanent? Permanent. Permanent? Mm-hmm. So temporary is, for example, uh, for December, some people are higher only in December or in Christmas, on Christmas season or on a specific holidays, right? What is the meaning of to do overtime? What is something well, I don't have? <laughs> uh -huh. To do overtime? Mm. Anyone? Do you do overtime? Uh -huh. You use overtime when you pay for that. They pay for that. 
Okay. No, I don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> so you just you, do it. You do, do it for fun. But, uh, but I, but the company <laughs> doesn't recognize your job with um, extra money. Tony, you just, please give me you, overtime. <laughs> <laughs> so that is the one, right? Overtime is when you work extra hours, but of course the company has to pay for it. Demanding. Imagine if I say, I my job is very demanding. What is the meaning of that? You need a lot of time for, for your responsibilities. That's good. That's the one. Exactly. It's very demanding that they are asking a lot of time, a lot of activities. So it's very hard. Okay. Here we got some of vocabulary that we checked at the beginning of the class. What is the meaning of quit? Renunciar. Exactly. When you stop doing the job. Now, to suck. Suck is a synonym of fire. So you can say uh, to the employee, ah, the employee is fired or suck. Okay, actually there is like a very, uh, it's, a, it's a common popular idiom to say to give uh, the sack. To give the sack is like when you want to say, ay, es que me despidieron, right? So in simple past, it will be um, they, uh, for example, they gave me the sack. They gave me the sack, it will be translated like me despidieron, right? They gave me the sack. It's like an idiom. Now, what is the meaning of retired? Like a synonym of uh, pension, pension. That's the one, exactly. Very good. How about resigned? What do you, what do you think? Have you ever heard that word? Resigned. What is that? When we are fired, um, come back to the company. Mm, like to rehire, maybe? Mm, uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, yeah. actually, resign is a synonym of quit. Like when you step down a, a job, so you stop doing it. So that is resign. It's like a synonym for quit. By my own, um, by my own uh, account. Yes, by, by, by your own, by your okay. own. Okay. Okay. It's not that you get fired. No, you decide it. Mm -hmm. Now, make redundant. What is that? Make redundant. Never heard that phrase? Okay, this is when the employer uh, basically Fire the employee, right? So make redundant is not because the employee is a bad employee. It's maybe because the company doesn't have enough money. Okay. So for us in Spanish, it's like when we say un recorte, right? It's not because the employees are bad, it's because the company cannot pay them anymore. That is make redundant. Is it clear this phrase, make redundant? Yes? An example is like a few weeks ago when Google, Facebook, and another principal uh, companies, global companies, have a, a massive hire. Fires. Okay. Fires. 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 Yes. Fires. Exactly. And they need to load the cost of the operations. Exactly. And then make a massive um, 
cause of the fleas. That's true. That's the one. So in this case, make redundant is that the company cannot pay them anymore. Okay. And let's see the last vocabulary. Uh, get promoted. That was easy, right? When you can go on a higher position. Perix. What do you think? What is the meaning of perix? This is something good. What do you think? Okay, perks are like extra benefits that the company gives you, okay? Can you think about some benefits that the company gives you? For example, some companies give you cell phones. So you need cell phones for doing your work. So they give you cell phones. Some companies can give you like a car so you can go to different points of the country in a car, right? Or some companies gives you extra money because you will need to have, I don't know, extra activities or something like this, or can give you a computer. So those are perks, benefits, like, extra um, benefits. Like um, a bonus, but not in, in, in cash. Actually, sometimes can be in cash too. Everything that is like benefits, extra benefits, those are perks, okay? Then we have skills. Skills are your abilities. Apply for, basically, is when you need a job, you apply for the job. What is contract? What is this? contract when you start working you receive a document so you have mm -hmm. to sign in so that is a contract then we have qualifications the qualifications basically is when we are talking about the degrees like the diplomas that you have to apply for a job and the salary is your favorite part right payment so now that we check this vocabulary, I'm going to send this vocabulary on WhatsApp's group so you can keep it. But in order to practice this vocabulary, we are going to have groups, okay? And I will give you some definitions and I want you to check what's the correct match for that definitions. We are going to do it in teams, but look at this. Here we got the words and here we got the definitions. For example, the first one, it says employer. So you just have to tell me what will be the best definition for employer. For example, if I say somebody who works for a company. Okay, if you think that that's the correct answer, put it there. If you think, no, this is not the one. Okay, you can return the word. At the end, when you finish, you just have to click here in submit answers to see if your answers are correct or not. Okay, so I hope you get all of these ones correct. Understood the activity? Yes? Everyone, is it clear yes. what you have to do? Yes. Okay, we are going to do it in teams. Uh, I know that in this moment there are like a lot of listeners, my gosh. So if you are in a group that nobody's talking, please let me know and I will move you to another team. I'm sending the link for the activity on WhatsApp's group, but also I'm sending it here uh, on the chat. Okay, so everybody, let's go to work. And remember, I want you to talk in English, please. Zero Spanish, don't translate the words. So let's go to work. For this activity, we only have 10 minutes, so try to hurry up.
Hello, teacher. Ajá. Hello, hello. Something is watching us. <laughs> <laughs> but I can help you, no worries. I can okay, help you. Okay, no problem. Let me see. I'm going to share my my screen. Thank okay, you. and now please help me to do this. This okay. This task. Okay. okay. Um, number one. Choose one. Yes. Choose one of the words. Somebody who is retired. Retired. Somebody who is retired. Okay. He's yes. a pensioner. Retired. Retire. This one. Yes. Retire. Okay. Because the pensioner is something that uh, continues receiving her uh, her paying salary or her payment. Okay. Next, jobs more of a physical kind. This one is a blue collar. Um, salary, I think, is money an employer receive for their work. Okay. A job of a minimum of eight hours a day, I think it's full time. Okay. To decide to go doing a work, a employer, maybe. To decide to stop doing uh -huh. a work. A work, um, yes. Or, no, no, no. Pensioner, pensioner. Maybe, yes. To set up a workstation at home and work from there, home office. I saw it from office. <laughs> I love that. Finish a career, maybe retire. Yes, yes. Pensioner, retire, I don't know. Uh, it's, a, it's a closer concept. Um, to step up the career, uh, to get the higher position. Get promo. From promote, promote, I don't know how to say that. Okay, I will help you with pensioner. Because that is not the one. Remember, pensioner is someone who yes. is retired. Retire, yeah. Yes. Ah, okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. The pensioner is somebody who is retired okay yeah. thank that's you that's the one <laughs> thank you thank you uh, a boss maybe simple year i'm sorry 
Abbas. Abbas. Employer. Abbas, Abbas, Abbas. Where is it? Uh, uh, On the right? Right side. <laughs> Go down, 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 down. there. Okay. There. <laughs> Employer. Employer. This. Yes. Mm, yes. Let's see. Let's see. Jobs. Jobs more okay. of an intellectual kind is white color. White color near to retire. Yes. There. The, first, the first one. Yes. There, there. Yeah. A <laughs> what? Employee now. Employee is someone who works for a company. Uh -huh. uh, the number four in the second column. Uh, employee is the um, no. Is color blue? Yes. Do a step down. Yeah. In the first column, the number one, two, three, four, five, the number five, a document signed by a future employer. And a future employee is contract is the color, the red color. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. To decide to start doing work that are quick. Yeah. Finish a career. Qualification. Okay, I will help you with finishing a career. Remember that in English, when they say finishing a career, they are not talking about when you graduate from university. Finishing a career is when to you retire. Exactly. Okay. When you stop your work, you don't want to work anymore because you finished your career. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Carla. Hola. Change, please. Not qualification. Finish a career is retire. <laughs> yeah. That's the one. Very good. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. A school diplomas and degrees is qualification. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. An intellectually difficult and challenging job. A physical and intellectually difficult and challenging job. It's good. Okay, I will help you with that one. Uh -huh. Physical and intellectual difficult and challenging job. Those are descriptions. Imagine, um, I, I will describe my job and I say, you know what guys, my job is very physically, is very, them is very intellectual difficult is very hard i need to work a lot i need to give a lot of of my time so 
I'm describing my job. So my job is? Demanding. What? Ah, so that's the one. It's demanding. Demanding. That's mm -hmm. the one. When I describe them, the difficult that are my job, okay? Uh-huh, exactly. That is my job. <laughs> so yes. your job is demanding, exactly. Lasting only for a short period of time. Temporary. Temporary. Extra benefits and company car or a mobile phone. Perks. You can do it bigger if you want. Solo de ley a las flechitas que son como cuadro. So to do it no bigger. Lo había visto. <laughs> yeah. Qué dundo me sentí. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> to fire somebody to let an employee go especially be duradera. Spanish. <laughs> hey, I, I, I'm translate. Ah. I'm translate <laughs> the the word uh, lasting lasting. Okay, you have two more minutes. Okay, okay. maybe permanent. Yes. Uh, a physical intel and intellectually difficult and challenging job. So imagine that I say, hey, you know what? My job is very challenging. My job is very difficult. I need to give a lot of time. I have to do a lot of work. So my job is... What do you think? <laughs> it's blue collar, it's skills, it's demanding, it's quit. I need an adjective. Demanding. To... Demanding. Ah, demanding. That's the one. Okay, because of the time, let's just stop there. Submit answers. I want to see how many correct answers do you have. <laughs> okay. Do it. No, don't, don't finish. Okay. Don't finish. Okay. Just the ones that you have. Submit. Mm, okay. Only two, two mistakes. <laughs> yeah, so far so good. <laughs> okay, I'm going to check the other teams and then let's go back to the main room, okay? Bravo. Ah, very good score. Not so bad, not so bad. Okay, everyone, we are going to go back to the main uh, room, okay? Okay. Okay. Very good. Now, okay. We try. We don't. Career. Let me see your score. Twenty-three of twenty-five. Ah, all right. So far, so good. Congratulations. We try a pensioner. Yes. These are mistakes. That's the one. Okay, let's go back to the main room because we don't have more time. Okay. Okay, pancake. <laughs> Okay, time's up, time's up. I could see very good scores, very good scores. So far, so good, so far, so good. Okay, everyone, a, a common mistake that I could find is finishing a career. Remember that in English, when we are talking about career, it's not the same as in Spanish. In Spanish, decimos carrera cuando hablamos de la universidad, right? Ah, tengo una carrera, yes. Ah, es que estoy estudiando una carrera. Yo saqué una carrera. So basically, we are talking about university diploma. But in English, it's not like that. Career, ellos, cuando decimos career, hacemos referencia a una carrera en trayectoria. For example, a doctor. La carrera del doctor no es cuando se gradúa de la university. Es, por ejemplo, ¿cuántos años tiene eh, trabajando como doctor? 10 años. Esos 10 años son la career. ¿Ok? Entonces, when you finish a career, es cuando ya nos jubilamos, cuando ya dejamos de trabajar. That is the difference about career. 
be careful with that. So be careful with the vocabulary, please try to study it. And tomorrow we will continue having more practice using this vocabulary. Okay, now, unfortunately, we don't have more time. Just continue working on the platform, please. And as always, we got a winner for today. And the one who's going to stay, let me see, let me see, is Karen. Karen Rocio is going to stay. So the rest of you, everyone, you can go to sleep. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. Only Karen stays. Good tomorrow, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Take care. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you tomorrow, everyone. Good night. Good night. Only Karen stays, please. Okay, hello Karen, how are you? Hello, I am fine. Excellent. So Karen, uh, this session is just to answer questions that you may have, could be about the class, uh, something that you don't understand very well, or about the platform, or about the program, okay? So tell me, uh, is there a question about the class that you may have? Or is it totally clear? Sobre el tema que vimos ahora, for example. ¿Alguna pregunta que pueda tener? ¿O algo que no quedó muy bien o muy claro? Es que sí le entiendo, pero lo que me cuesta es de hablarlo. Ok. Porque, o sea, porque usted me lo puede poner ahí, o sea, yo lo entiendo, lo que estoy leyendo y todo. Uh -huh. Pero ya a la hora de estarlo hablando, ese es el, el problema. So, siente que el speaking es como bien difícil. Sí. Ok. Muy bien. Eso es bueno porque ya identificó cuál es el área que más le cuesta. Ahora, para poder mejorar, ¿qué cree que podemos hacer para poder mejorarlo? Porque incluso, digamos, cuando hablo, porque a mí me toca hablar, o sea, a Estados Unidos y me contestan en inglés. Uh -huh. Ah. Yo, solamente, yo solamente le digo eh, good morning with Rafael, please. Y a veces me dicen que no estaba. Uh, hay tal, tal, little. Talk later. Talk later. Ok. Y ahí es donde ya, ahí, ya no ahí, sabemos ya. qué más decir, ¿verdad? Right? Ok, ok. Very good. Bye. Speaking cuesta. Definitely. Um, pero sí le voy a pedir que tratemos de practicarlo más. No tenga miedo a equivocarse. Eh, si se fija, alguno de sus compañeros cuando participan cometen errores cuando están hablándolo y es como que se traban o posiblemente la gramática no sea la correcta, posiblemente la estructura que estén usando no es la correcta, pero ahí están hablándolo, right? Entonces, intente hacerlo siempre. A veces la he visto en los grupos, sobre todo cuando está con compañeros que son bien hablantines, como que decidimos casi no participar. Entonces, eh, tratemos siempre de hablar, right? Aquí en la clase es cuando podemos equivocarnos. Aquí en la clase es cuando podemos, pues, ir soltando el miedo, porque esa es la idea, que soltemos el miedo y que nos aventemos. Y poquito a poco vamos a ir agarrando fluidez, poquito a poco vamos a ir corrigiendo esas cositas que nos cuestan. ¿Ok? Así que cuando estemos en los breaking rooms, tomemos ventaja. Mañana vamos a tener practice también. Así que cada vez que vayamos a los breaking rooms, tratemos de practicar. Cuando solicite volunteers, please, también tratemos de ser volunteers. Eh, cuando pida quienes quieren leer, por ejemplo, tratemos de siempre participar porque así nos vamos a ir quitando el miedo y de verdad eso va a ir ayudándonos a soltar la fluidez y poder ir hablando un poco más. All right. Okay. Así que espero más participación suya, please. Ok. ¿Otra pregunta que pueda tener? Eh, la de, dice que está haciendo lo de la plataforma. Uh -huh. Y hay una parte que hay que contestar, parece en negativo. ¿En cuál unidad? ¿En la 2 o en el examen? 
que ya voy en la... O en la sección 3. En la 3. Ok, vamos a tratar de abrirlo para saber cuál es. Pero ahorita... Vamos a ver, estoy ahorita en la tarea 13. Eh, responder en negativo, me dice. Uh -huh. okay. Le voy a compartir pantalla y me dice si este es el ejercicio. Ups. Acá, no sé si este es, porque acá me está diciendo que conteste ya sea en positivo o en negativo. No sé si es esta. ¿Será? Ajá, ¿es estoy esta? Tratando, estoy tratando de abrir el mío, pero no. Ah, ok. Porque let's see. Porque creo que ese es el único ejercicio que tengo donde dice que hay que responder ya sea en afirmativo o negativo. ¿Lo encontró? Ajá, ¿lo encontró? ¿O todavía no? No, no lo encontré. ¿Pero no se acuerda más o menos cómo decían las oraciones? ¿O cuál era específicamente la, la, la oración en la que tenía dudas? Era el... El 15. Sí, esa, esa es. Negativo. Ah, sí. ¿Es? Ajá. Ajá, ok. Ok, entonces, ¿cuál es la en la que tiene dudas? Vaya, porque ahí yo he puesto Was I late? Was I late? Ajá, ¿cuál respuesta colocó usted? Um, no, I was. Ok, vaya, si decimos, este es en... Simple past, durante esta semana vamos a ver el pasado simple. Este siempre es igual que las respuestas cortas. Si la respuesta es yes, decimos yes, I was. Si la respuesta es no, decimos no. No, I wasn't. Exactly, no, I wasn't. Entonces, acá dice que usted tiene que colocarla ya sea con positiva o negativa. Pero si decimos como no, I was, like this. Entonces estaría incorrecta. Entonces tendríamos que decir, no, I wasn't, like, complete. Y no, y, pero I was not, no lo agarra. Mm, let me check. Vamos a ver si lo agarra así. No, al parecer quiere contractions. Vamos a ver. Porque en todo eso la plataforma a veces es como que bien exigente, incluso si no le ponemos punto. Vamos a ver si permite esta oración. Look, si usted incluso no le coloca el like, el último punto, también se la va a tomar como equivocada. Entonces, en cuanto a signos de puntuación, la plataforma es como bien exigente en esta parte. Así que usemos contractions y no nos olvidemos de colocar el punto final en la respuesta. Sí, porque igual en la segunda yo tengo no, you were, pero no he, no he hecho contracción. Ah, vaya, en este caso, were you in a school, siempre le está preguntando a usted, were you at the school? Y lo mismo, el punto es que si no usa contractions, no se la va a valer. Uh -huh. Ajá, entonces ya. sí, hay que usar contractions y colocarle el punto al final.
¿ok? Uh -huh. Inténtelo y veremos si, si le funciona o no. Ok. Veamos en okay. cuanto a sus calificaciones. Vamos a ver cómo va. Bueno, de hecho, muy bien. Ha avanzado en lo que corresponde. Ya hizo el examen y veo que tuvo buen resultado. Super good job. Así que, Karen, basically, la única observación para usted quizás sería que participe un poquito más, right? Para que vaya desarrollando el speaking, ¿ok? Eh, yo sé que cuesta a todos, todos pasamos por lo mismo. Pero sí, entre más participe, más fluidez va a agarrar y pues más lo va a ir perfeccionando, ¿ok? Así que practiquemos y tratemos de participar más en clase. All right? Ok. Very good. Any other question antes de irnos? No. Only that? Ok. Sí. Bueno, Karen, quedamos hasta acá entonces. Espero verla mañana en clases. Good night. Good night. Good night.